Something that I've started working on this month is I've just started bringing like Black Friday and Q4 to mind for a lot of my clients who maybe aren't like already thinking about it. Um, just in terms of like ad buying and like what sales we're going to have between now and November, if there's any sort of like new testing we want to do, new audiences. Um, I had a brand that did like a prime day, prime week kind of sale. And so for them, I tested like ASD only on like a 60, 40 split for 40% um, existing customers, because I wanted to see what like running only an ASC for a sale would be like, because normally I would do like an ASC and maybe something else um, to see if that would be something that would work for Q4. Um, and so I've been talking a lot to clients about like, hey, we don't need to know like, what the sale is right now, but like, let's start thinking about it. Why don't you guys meet internally? Um, and then I want to start talking about it in like late August, September, we need to start working on like thinking about creative. Do we need to save up any budget for something? Um, just from like an ad buying perspective of thinking ahead. Um, and to like with our creative partners, whether that's like editors or like creators and content creators and things like that, making sure we get into their um, schedule for like, if I do, you know, two or three videos a month with a certain creator or something, you know, making sure we get them that in the queue so that they're filming that for us in September. We can have October to like edit everything together because we're going to need it by obviously November, things like that. So um, yeah, trying to get ahead of the game, but I think a lot of, especially like um, smaller clients, not even like super small, just ones that aren't like giant multi-million dollar companies. A lot of them are like, oh, it's July. Why are we thinking about Q4? And I'm like, well, it's Q3 and we do need a plan. And then like, you know, I also have multiple clients. So like, I can't just like, and it's all, it's always going to happen. Of course, someone's going to send me something the day before their Black Friday sale launches, I know, but trying really hard to like get ahead. And then my plan is at this point, I'll start kind of working on like week planning. So like, I know when, um, like black, black Friday sales will start. And then I'm going to start creating like my own calendar, like working back of like when I need to like tell my clients to start working on this and like give them deadlines and like work really far in advance. That way I can give them really solid deadlines. And then when I get two weeks out and they haven't done it yet, I can say, Hey, you've known this deadline for two months now. I'd really like to enforce it. Cause this is really going to help me do my job. I think, especially in like for small agencies and freelancers, we kind of do that because we don't have this like endless bandwidth and we don't just have all of these people that can just jump in last minute to get things going. So I think it's really important to plan ahead as much as we can. And and then the more notice that I give my clients generally, like they really respect those boundaries because they know that it's me or it's just a small team. And that's kind of why they like working with me, but also there's like pros and cons too. It's just me. So I'm going to need your stuff soon. Yeah. Good to get ahead. It's hard to remember that it's already Q3 and Q4 is coming up very quickly. Yeah. It's insane that it's already July. That's a good point though. Like I know, cause like, I think for me as like, as we're like creating content, it's like, it's not even just like, okay, you, you just, it doesn't happen just in one day. Right. It's like, there's a lot of planning that goes into that. So I think something that I've been thinking a lot about, not just about Q4, which is just having a more longer term perspective of things. I think for a long time, it's very, it's been for me, just very much like, okay, go, go, go. Let's get the content going, you know, just like very like short term. But I think, you know, one of the things that I've found when I have more successful clients is when we have that long-term view and we are having those conversations of, okay, what happens not only this month, but next month and the following month. And then we're like, actually like having the engine going as like this month is going, we're already thinking about next month. Um, so I love how you're already thinking about even just having deadlines and thinking about that and like actually mapping that on a calendar uh, realistically. Um, Cause it's easy to be like, think about it in Q3, but it's another thing to actually have like literal dates and be like, yeah, 20 days back from there is, is this day and you know, and work back on your workflow. So um, that's a really great, great uh, call out. 